This man, Oreo, was described probably the first recorded history of Jamaica in, in Spanish in the diaries of Columbus and also a gentleman who had served with him on his four voyages, um, a man called Diego Mendes. They, had, they were marooned here. I know you, you know your history, but Columbus was marooned here on his fourth voyage. I guess what inspired the book, and it had to do with having written Daddy Shah and looking at what national heroes can teach us about who we are as a nation and also the kinds of things to admire. And they also, most of the national heroes are also associated with turning events in, in the history of the world. Taigwei Ituno Kena Aiti Aono. Good day, sisters and brothers. Diri Mukaro Agwebana. Boriken Taino Daka. My name is Mukaro Agoibana and I am a Boriken Taino. I'm also known as Roberto Borjero and I extend these warm greetings to all those gathered at the National Gallery in Kingston, Jamaica to celebrate the publication of Juareo, a novel by Fred Kennedy. From my understanding, this is truly a historic occasion considering this is the first such work to feature an indigenous leader a cacique from Jamaica or Iyama Ie as the island was also identified in the past. In my capacity as a representative of the United Confederation of Taino People, a Caribbean indigenous tribal authority, I commend Mr. Kennedy on his sincere efforts to strive for historic authenticity and structure in this novel. The Confederation is proud to be among those who the author outreached to in this regard. Consultation with indigenous peoples in these types of projects is paramount. Further, it is my personal view that the significance of this publication lies in its ultimate goal of furthering the understanding of not only Jamaican history, but also of the exchange of ideals between indigenous peoples and other cultures. In closing, I trust this publication and its hero, Cacique Juareo, will continue to be well received and inspire others to support, promote, protect, and defend the indigenous legacy, Taino legacy, in Jamaica and beyond. Hahom Ituno Kena Aiti Aono. Thank you, sisters and brothers. It wasn't just writing a book, it was visiting countries. We went to um, all the Spanish islands, we went to Cuba and the Dominican Republic. And Puerto Rico and they did a um, DNA testing in Puerto Rico to find that something like 85% of the population is descended from Taino ancestors. I, I wanted to believe that but a large number of us are also very mixed ancestry. I, I, I don't think anyone, hardly anyone in Jamaica is of only one bloodline. It's, it's quite amazing.